What's going on guys? It's your boy Fly Stewie back at it again and today we're gonna talk about are the aquas still good in season 19 or should you just sell all of your aquas? Um, if you like videos like this and you want to see more, make sure you hit that like, comment, and of course that subscribe button because we do this all the time, every day. Guys, I'm super excited because season 19, I've been waiting for, for a while and with all the debuffs coming out, a lot of people are saying, should they sell their aquas? So what I've done here is I have an aqua team. It's a bit of a different spin on aqua team but i think it could still be good um we're gonna give this away to a scholar team and see how the scholar team's able to how they're able to use a team like this so this is a very weird team honestly but i still think it can be successful we start off with a beast that has some damage and it does have cattail on the back gives you that extra shield there has the damage here 120 if this actually shield breaks that's always great to hear we also have the aqua the midliner with catfish to heal now strikes to apply a bit of a speed debuff and of course this really gets rid of Enlilmate's Aquas and we have the Beast on the back to take us home Soothing Song with a bit of Beast damage and of course Eggshell for the outplays so we're gonna go with this one and we're gonna see if we can get us some W's with this lineup have folks is having me have it um, we got Kazer in the building Kaoki in the building Yande in the building guys so we have the mech in the middle here now mech it's definitely a mech season i'm very i'm very feeling that that it's a mech season um interestingly enough i want to go for the energy steal first so he breaks my shield and as you guys know you know what that means that means we're gonna do damage up look at this give me your energy more damage gotta love it And then we're gonna do something like this. So he, I think he used Imp, so he has enough to get rid of me. I don't think he's gonna get rid of me. I don't think he has the juice like that. We're gonna go for it here. Boom, big hit. Then we got him here. Another big hit. So off the bat, he goes for the energy steal, which you know could be the right move. I don't think it is. But hey, you gotta do you sometimes. And now that we know he's going down, we're gonna get our energy up here, guys. Um, so we're gonna just double soothing song him. <laughs> Is this trolling? I think that's I think that's almost trolling. Let's do it anyway. So we always want to kind of bait him out. Oh no, he has the thing. I forgot. I forgot he has the thing. No. Okay, thank the Lord. What I thought he was going to do there, I thought he was going to just hit me with a couple of these. So this guy hasn't used any moves yet. We're just gonna sing this guy a good night. Not much he can do about this, guys. And we're gonna put our most shield on here. So again. Because he was a mech, he didn't go in last stand there, which is always great for me. Oh no, because I used Cool Breeze, he didn't go in last stand. That's right. Nice. And this is where this I think one is enough. <laughs> yeah, I was going completely overkill with those cottontails. So this is where I really like Nile Strikes here. Let's see how much damage he can do. We're yeah, using Nile Strikes just for the defense. Me, yeah. Oh my god, 143? No way, he actually killed me. This guy's an animal. Ooh, okay guys, now I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am scared out of my mind. I think we honestly here go for damage. 
we go for damage because we're not gonna get as much cards he's probably gonna he needed to so he needed to only use one card here because he needs energy management we don't need energy management so we go for maximum damage here and we get the energy nothing he can do can slow me down and next turn he has four energy and look at this just like that it's a stewie special big shout outs to adrian gutang for the building thank you for the follow we did this for my boy adrian about to send that boy to the shadow realm it's fly hold up i gotta do an odd zoom it's fly stewie baby and you gotta stay fly Tell you die. Uh, 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 you gotta stay. Come on! It's the flight crew! Hey, sweaty mode is on. Yeah. Yeah. So that's And of course, at the end of this video, we're gonna give this away to a scholar. So let's see if we can get another win or if it was all luck. And I think that will be it for the stream. So here it is. Soothing Songbird. You know what that means. He's going to attack me as hard as he can. So this is the only guy here that can really... So we let him steal my energy just so I can steal his energy back. Oh, wow. The double plant bird team. Interesting. So he's missing a lot of beast damage. So as long as I'm able to get cards a bit faster than him, I can get this guy out of here. So remember, if he breaks my shield, which he probably won't, then I can really do some damage here. Big hit. Big hit. All right, so I'm still in here, guys. We're gonna do something like this. Oh, wow. Should have seen that coming. Oh, my God. <laughs> what an animal. And he has the beast damage, so at least we got a draw there. Oh, my God. What an animal. Should have seen that coming, guys. Did not, though, unfortunately. Oh, well. We get rid of him here, at least. So this is where I really think this build takes takes the cake. So he can go, he can't go back door, guys. So I think this guy can't do too much damage. Because of that, we're gonna pass. What he can do is he can use spicy trap so I can't heal. He doesn't use Spicy Trap, a noob move. A noob move. All right, so we're gonna basically, we just have to D up here, unfortunately. Yeah, it's still it it's nice still to have a nice yeah. yeah. Hey, man, niggers can't be choosers. Look. Big shout outs to Call Me Don in the building. We have Kazer in the building. Adrian Gutang, what is going on? Hey, good morning, sent Discord link. That's what's up. I don't think he has that much juice. Oh my God, okay. The zigzag midliners are scary. That is for sure. Who's faster? So this guy's faster. Um, let's just keep going. No way. Okay, I gotta stop doing those eggshells. <laughs> Jesus. I 
I almost want to use another eggshell, honestly. The good news is, now my Aqua's untouched to go against his bird one-on-one. -on -one. He's probably out of cards here. He's been playing a lot of plants, so I think we can... I think this is a good night for him. So he's gonna do everything that he can here. Oh, what? Are you serious? Oh God, he prays to Jesus five times a day, I forgot. I forgot. And that's a good night for me, unfortunately. So Soothing Song didn't come in the times I needed. You know, it's okay, it happens from time to time. You know, a nice Soothing Song Revenge Arrow would have been nice, but hey, what can you do? Beggars can't be choosers. And of course, I have no defense here. But, yeah, there's nothing we can do here, guys. We're about to get the bird combo, Wafu. You already know what's gonna happen, but hey, you win some, you lose some. I think this team can still be effective, but we'll see how the Scholar uses them. So, Aquas with a little bit of a twist. You know, a little bit of beast damage, a little bit of bird damage, a little bit of aqua damage. Definitely not your average midliner. And a lot of times going against the back, maybe birds are a bit tough depending on their midliner. Of course, you have the zigzag healer. Um, but I think that Aqua can still get the job done. He's just missing one defensive card to really make him a strong midliner because the most defense he can kind of put up is like 150-ish. But I think once you figure out his card orders, he might be a bit more effective. So we're going to give this to the third scholar. Of course, this scholar is someone who's very new to the community. I want to look for new people. I give one scholar to someone who's looking very experienced. One of them to someone who's been to the flight crew a long time, and one of them is very new to the community. So we're going to finish the video with this. Um, as you know, guys, in my Discord is all of the beautiful Scholar information. And this is the third Scholar we're going away. So I've been chatting with my team. We're going over the new Scholars that came through. And I think this person definitely deserves it. So without further ado, who could the newest scholar be? It could be anybody. Who could it be? And again, this spot, not necessarily looking for experience, just someone who's been committed, someone who's been in there, has good vibes within the group, and, you know, has just joined the group recently. So without no further ado, the newest scholar that's getting this team to use in the flight crew, 2021 NBA draft. None other than the the fantastic Leia. Leia, congrats to our newest scholar. Big, big congrats. Leia, of course, has joined the group recently. Has been phenomenal, of course. And it's an absolute pleasure to have you in the community. So we're going to add Leia here. Let's go to Flight Crew Legends. It's official. And thank you guys so much for rocking with me, guys. Guys, if you want to figure out how to be a scholar, it's all in the Discord, all there. We want to get up to at least 30, maybe 50 by the end of the year, depending on if we figure out this new meta or thing or not. That way, it can start breeding very competitive teams. But until then, I want scholars to try out these new teams to see if maybe there's something in the meta that they're seeing that I'm not seeing. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for rocking with me. We're going to keep rocking on Twitch for a bit, but... If you like videos like this and you want to see more, make sure you comment. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You comment, you like, you subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Let me know if the Aqua has a chance in the new season 19, but we're out. Peace.